Hey everybody, this is Daniel from FitnessBlender.com and today I've got a particularly brutal workout for you guys. What we're going to be doing is starting off with a little bit of a warm up because this one is pretty rough. You're going to want to make sure you're warmed up before you start it. Once we get into it though, we've got uh, six different groups or six different rounds of the same exercises. We have eight different exercises to run through. Some of them are left and right. Most of them are all just individual exercises we're going to be alternating on. But what we're going to be doing is we're starting off with 10 seconds per. Sounds nice and easy, which it is. Got 15 seconds break in between, but then every single round we go through, we're going to add another 10 seconds onto the work cycle, but not add any extra to the rest cycle. So we're going through six. So by the time we're done with this, we're going to be doing a full 60 seconds of each exercise with only 15 seconds break in between. So we have just a little bit of a break in between each group, but they're going to be running pretty much smooth straight through. So let's go ahead and get started with that warm up and get this torture on the road. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're going to be trying to go through all of our body parts we're going to be using for this routine. So let me go ahead and start my timer. Basically, we just want to make sure we hit all of those muscle groups really, really well before we start into this if you haven't done anything before you start. If you have done a workout before you uh, start in with this, that's perfectly fine. Just go uh, right into the routine. So we're going to start out by stretching out those arms. So we want to do a nice big circle through that shoulder. Back and forth, really focus just on one arm at a time. Trying to really push that range of motion. Again, if you're cold, if you're starting completely cold, you haven't done anything at all, you're going to want to move relatively slow at first. So same thing on the other side. Nice big circle. Pause at the bottom. Reverse it back around the opposite direction. Try to get as close to your body at the front and then back behind you as close to the back of your body in the back. Just get alternating back and forth. Keep those lungs open. Keep standing up nice and straight and tall. And get that torso just a little bit, so a nice slow rotation left and right. As you start feeling more and more loose, a little more limber, then you can start speeding up just a little bit. Make sure you're keeping everything under control. You don't want to just really quickly toss in one direction or the other. So we're nice and slow, we're going to work on that torso. So bend over from your uh, lower back, round off to the side behind you. To the other side, pause at the bottom, back around the opposite direction. Really try to get those core muscles warmed up, get that spine warmed up a little bit, get a little more fluid fl uh, pumped around your body, and let that relax. So we're going to start into those legs. Nice slow kick with that leg, front to back. Try to get it up higher and higher each time, reaching out towards that toe, get a little bit of a stretch of that hamstring. Or you can feel it in that lower back a little bit as well. Same thing on the other side. Keep those lungs open, keep that motion under control. Still trying to get as much range of motion as you can. That relax. Nice wide stance, you're just going to be alternating back and forth from side to side. Try to get that inside thigh to stretch out just a little bit. When you drop down, kind of lean back towards that straight leg. Get a little extra stretch out of it. And switch. Put one forward, uh, foot in front, one foot behind. Just drop down a little bit low, as low as is comfortable. Try to stretch out that hip joint just a little bit. Same thing on the other side, drop it down nice and low. So you should feel stretch that hip when you drop down, when you come back up, extend that leg as much as you can, you should feel stretch that hamstring. And back up, so let's get your body moving a little bit more into that boxer shuffle. Try to warm up those calves a little bit, start getting a little bit more blood pumping around your system. regular jumping jacks. Start them out relatively slow at first. We're actually going to do two rounds of these. First one nice and slow. Joints just moderately contracted. And this next one we're going to speed up. I want you to make sure you're keeping everything nice and solid through your entire body. Moving as quickly as it's comfortable.
keep it going. Make sure your shoulder's contracted. Bicep, tricep, that hip joint, inside, outside, thigh. Everything's nice and solid to that core. Let it relax. Back to that boxer shuffle. Let's go ahead and start into that main routine here in just a second. All right, everybody, this is going to be brutal. We're going to start out nice and easy, but it's just going to get harder and harder as we go. This uh, round of eight exercises we're going through, they're all going to be exactly the same. Every single round is exactly the same. We do it in the same order each time. So each time gets longer and longer. So let's go ahead and get started with our first one. 10 seconds of active, 15 seconds of rest. Go ahead and start it up. We're starting off with a single leg burpee. So whichever leg you want to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and start with my left and start it up. Out with just one foot. You can add that jump at the top if you want to. You don't necessarily have to do it. I'm probably going to cut it out later. All right, so that was nice and easy. 10 seconds. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other, right, on other leg. Excuse me. Another round of those burpees. Five seconds. Try to catch your breath as much as you can on these breaks. And start up. And back up again. Nice, easy round, just 10 seconds each. Got 10 seconds until we start into our next one, which is going to be a side lunge pop. So you're gonna drop down the side, one leg at a time, pop up, balance on the other leg. So start out nice and wide. Drop down to that side lunge, pop up and hold. Right back down again. And nice and easy, 10 seconds, no sweat. Do, have to do the same thing on the other side. Five more seconds. Try to keep those feet moving while you're doing this. Active recovery. Down, Oops, sorry, wrong side. And up. So all that effort's coming from that one leg, the other leg you have completely straight. All right, that's that, that one down. We've got a mountain climber get up next. We're gonna be alternating feet on this one. Every single time you switch feet, you come standing back up. Here, come back up to a standing position that is. Down, switch those feet, up, switch those feet, and up. Just drive that knee up. So that trailing leg is the one that's gonna move each time. Whew, that's into that one. So next one is gonna be a squat jack. This one is going to be almost impossible to get through the whole time. So just go as long as you can. All right. 10 seconds should be no problem though. Just stay nice and low. Hopping those feet back and forth. Three, two, one, and back up. All right, push-up jacks are next. So drop down to the ground to a push-up position, hopping those hands and feet in and out. Five more seconds. And start it up, hop out, back in. As you hop out, you drop down into that push-up and bounce it back in. Whew. Back up, our last one is gonna be high knees. Pounding those feet as quick as you can. 10 seconds. Five more seconds till we start. And start up. 10 seconds, driving those knees, bring them up to at least hip height, higher if you can. And let it relax. All right. Keep moving here, keep those feet moving. So every single one of these rounds, like I said, we're adding 10 seconds. So this one is going up to 20 seconds total. Rest time stays the same. Now let me tie my shoe real quick. Just keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open. Use up this rest time as best you can before we start into this next round, because it's just gonna get harder and harder as we go. All right. So, this one's starting off with 20 seconds. Same exact routine. Starting off again with a single leg burpee. Whichever leg you wanna start with. Three, two, one, start them up. Oops, gotta remember what I'm doing here. Whew. 
And like I said, you don't necessarily have to do the jump at the top. If you're starting to get tired, just stand up each time. But try to get that jump as much as you can in there. All right, another 15 seconds rest. Keep those feet moving, starting over. That single leg burpee with the opposite leg. Keep those lungs open. And start up. Try to make sure you're getting that leg out there really nice and far. With one leg, you're going to have a tendency to want to do a shorter extension. Try to get a full one in there. All right, side lunge pops are next. Feet nice and wide. I'm gonna start you up in five seconds. Three, two, one, down. Press up nice and quick. Back down. One more seconds. Almost done. And back that jog in place. And the same thing on the opposite leg. Five more seconds. So drop it off to this side next. And start it. Nice hard press with that leg. If you want to get a little extra oomph out of it, lift that leg up off to the side. Almost done. And back that jog in place. Mountain climber get ups are next. Keep those lungs open. Five seconds left. Two, one, and start them up. Try to move nice and quick, but always under control. Feet moving again. Got squat jacks coming up next. This is going to be the rough one to get through. 20 seconds straight. Three, two, one. Start them up. Let's go to that happy place. If you need to rest, stand up for a split second. Right back down again. Whoo, that burns. There's no way around these. This is going to suck. Oh, man, that burns. All right, I got push-up jacks next. Keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open, recover as best you can. Got five seconds left. Start narrow, hop it out, press up into that push-up, right back. Exercise. Got high knees next. Keep those lungs open. Three, two, one. 20 seconds straight through. Ten seconds left. Almost done, and let it relax. All right, Whew. let's keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open. We're gonna move this up to now 30 seconds around. Keep those feet moving, try to recover as best you can from here on out. This is gonna hurt. If you need to break in between these, it's perfectly fine. Take a split second break. If you have to, count up to five, go right back into it. Even if you can't go, but just a couple more seconds, 
A five second break should be enough just to take the edge off that lactic acid burn. Okay. All right, 30 seconds per. Starting back over that single leg burpee. Nice full extension with that leg. Keep those lungs open. Seconds. Yes. Whew. Keep those feet moving. Shake those legs out. If you're like me, quadriceps burning, that calf is burning. You gotta do the same thing on the other side. Five seconds. And start up. Lunge hops, side lunge pops, that is. Five seconds. Pop it up. No effort from that other leg. That other leg stays perfectly straight. Keep those lungs open. Done. And get those feet moving. Same thing on the other side. Five more seconds. Down and hop it up. Climber get ups next. Whew. Move those feet, shake it out. Deep breaths, try to recover. All right, mountain climber get up. Two, one, start them up. Jacks are next. I'm probably not going to be able to make it all the way through this. So the idea is to go as long as I can, break for a five second, and then right back into it. Drop it down, start it up. Five second break. Three, two, one. Back down. Four, three, two, one. Oh man. Oh geez, that hurts. All right, push up jacks are next. And drop it down in that push up position. Start them up.
keep it going. knees 30 seconds two one start up keep it going 10 seconds left halfway. We've got three more rounds to go. We're going to take a little extra break here. Go ahead and hit pause if you need extra. Otherwise we'll be starting back in to the second half of this routine and the harder half of this routine in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the second half of this. Like I said, this one is going to be brutal. This is all the longest one, so we're starting back into this at 40 seconds. Then we got our 50 and our 60, and then we're done. So let's go ahead and get this going. I set this down, starting back over with our regular ones. So single leg burpee, starting off our first. Three, two, one. Remember, Add that jump if you want to. You don't necessarily have to. We got 20 seconds left. Slow down if you need to. Pause if you need to. Just try to keep moving as best you can. Whew. Whew, man. Oh. All right, next one, let's go back over that other leg. Five seconds left. Especially when you're getting tired, you want to make sure that you check your form. If you start getting too sloppy, then take a rest. If you want to try to keep your form as clean as you can the entire time. Side lunge pops, side lunge pops next. Keep those lungs open. Almost started. And get it going. Just trying to get all the way up so that hip joint is above that ankle. Actually, the harder you push, the more you can kind of rest a little bit, pause a little bit up on that leg. 20 seconds left. Do a nice leap, deep squat. Or sorry, deep side lunge. Almost done. Oh, those feet moving. Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Feet nice and wide. Start up. Oh. 
Keep it going, keep those lungs open. 20 seconds left. Try not to hold your breath. As you get more and more tired, you're gonna have a tendency to wanna hold that breath to make that core go rigid. Keep those lungs open. All right, it's halfway through the group. We got mountain climber get-ups next. Five seconds. And stir it up. Stop moving. If you do, take a quick break and get right back into it. Alright. Squat jacks next. These stink. I hate these. Five seconds. Drop it. Start them up. Oh. Hold it for five seconds. Back down. Oh. Five more seconds break. We're getting so close to being done. 10 seconds without breaking. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, man. Push up jacks are next. 10 seconds to start. Four, three, two, one. Seconds, four, three, two, one. If you need to, just switch it to a regular high knee march. Just make sure you increase that range of motion on your legs. Seconds. Four, three, two, one. Stand up, get those hands over your head. Breathe deep. Whatever you do, don't roll those shoulders forward. Put those hands in those legs like I just did. You want to keep standing up straight and tall. All right. That's our 40 second one done. Which means we gotta get ready for our 50 second. Keep those feet moving. Even if it's just a nice shuffle back and forth. Nice full deep breaths. Give you a little extra rest. Then we gotta start in. Second to last round. High 
Are you guys ready? Don't worry, I'm not really ready either. <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway. All right. Starting off with that single leg burpee, 50 full seconds. Start him up. If you go down to a full flat palm on the ground, it's a little bit harder than if you actually stop on your knuckles. So if you're doing this on a soft surface, you can probably get away with that. If you're doing it on a hard surface, you might want to put something down to get a little extra cushion underneath those knuckles. But like I said, the harder version is all the way flat down. Almost done. Oh, I'm gonna stop there, my legs are toast. Same thing on the other leg. I know I'm shaving a few seconds off here and there. Try to do better than I am, finish it all the way out. Oh, get ready, other leg, and start it. And as you can tell, my balance is really starting to go as well. That's just one of those things that happens when you start getting tired. All those fine motor skills start going away. You see, guard start getting really, really, really sloppy. Twenty seconds left. Try to move faster than I do. Try to last longer than I do. I'm here as a marker for someone to beat. Oh. Keep those feet moving. Shake those legs out. We got those side lunge pops coming up next. Feet nice and wide. Dropping down, popping up and hold. Whoops. Ah, whoop. <laughs> Barely making some slippery spots on the ground. I'm sweating all over the place. Just keep it going. Less than 10 seconds. Let's be moving. We got the same thing on the other side. Feet nice and wide. Three, two, one. Keep those lungs open. Try not to hold that breath. Just go to that happy place. Keep pushing through it. Even if you're moving at a snail's pace, keep moving. Remember, don't try to pace yourself off of me. Try to beat me. So if you're going the same speed as me, try to speed up. Get those feet moving. We've got mountain climber get ups coming up next. We're halfway through this group. Five more seconds.
I'm slowing down partially because I'm just tired, I'm wiped. But at the same time, I'm slowing down to help keep my balance so I don't waste energy fumbling around trying to regain it. 10 seconds left. Keep those feet moving. Squat jacks next. Squat jacks. Two, one, start them up. Five second break. Ridiculous. Almost done. Under five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh man. All right, push up jacks are next. We're getting so close to being done with this. Five, four, three, two, one, push up jacks. Try and keep those hips down. Done. 10 seconds left. Try to keep going without stopping. Oh man. Alright. High knees. High knees are next. I think I'm going to opt. Starting off with a high knee march. If you can, get those feet moving nice and quick. Doing a full high knee, otherwise, just a marching place. Try to catch that breath. Keep those lungs open. Try to finish up the second half. Good, nice. Long break after this. So keep those feet moving. Ten seconds left. Oh. All right. Keep those feet moving. Keep those lungs open. We got one more round to go. This also happens to be. Of course, longest round. I'll give you a little extra rest on this one to get ready. Try to push through it as hard as you can on this last one. Got to reset my timer here. Like I said, full 60 seconds. Still. 15 second break. Keep those hands over top of your head, breathing deep. To try to get more oxygen into your lungs, what you want to do is take a deep, deep breath in, as deep as you possibly can. Short pause at the top, really pull it in, and then purse your lips. Have to push through resistance with your mouth. What that does is it increases the pressure inside your lungs, the air pressure, the PSI. 
the point where that oxygen will actually go into your bloodstream more quickly. So by pushing out against your air as you're breathing, it requires a little more energy on your part as far as your diaphragm goes, but you actually get more oxygen per breath shoved into your lungs. So it actually comes in really, really handy for doing long bouts of cardio or for doing things like hip. All right. We're almost, almost ready to start here. So our last one. So let's go ahead and get it going. Starting back over with that single leg burpee. Turn up. Hey, watch that balance. Just keep that body moving. few repetitions in and my body's already burning like crazy. I took some time off of exercising for a while during our vacation and it's definitely showing up on this routine. Yes. Whoo. All right, I gotta do the same thing on that other leg. All right, same thing, other leg. tell my body's going to be pretty sore from this tomorrow. Wah! Starting to get that jello-y feeling. Those very, very slight twinges of pain letting you know that you're starting to go a little too far. Here's our last round. So let's get it done. Just keep it under control. Feet out. Got a side lunge pops. Feet nice and wide. Start them up. Off to one side. Pop it up. <laughs> Fifty seconds. Forty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Over halfway. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh man. Same thing on the other side. Keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open. Four, three, two, one. Keep pushing through it. 50 seconds. Once we're done with this one, we're halfway through this group. And that much closer to being done. That's under 40. Mm. 
30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds left. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Get those feet moving. Mountain climber get ups coming up next. All right, drop down into that push-up position. Take your time. Keep your balance. seconds left. Four, three, two, one. All right, squat jacks. It's gonna hurt. Five, four, three, two, one. Go to that happy place. Ah. Lightheaded. All right, ten seconds left. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh man, got push-up jacks next. Just two more to go. Start him up. Man, my arms are spent. At this point, I'm just willing my body to keep going. There is nothing left. seconds. Start with my first 10 seconds and just a regular high knee or regular walking or high knee march. Whew, you can tell I'm getting tired. I don't even know what I'm saying. 10 seconds of regular high knees. One by one. 
Back to those high knees. High knee march, 20 seconds left. Go to that happy place. Got one more exercise. I'm sorry, one more round. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, buddy. I'm sure you guys are just as tired as I am. We're going to take a very short little break, grab a drink of water, and we're starting to our cool down and stretch. We'll start that up in just a second. All right, guys, so I'm assuming you went and got yourself a nice drink of water, took a little bit of a breather, so all we have left is a nice cool down and stretch. After that hard of a routine, you definitely need to take some time to stretch, so don't just stop and go out about your day, otherwise you're gonna be twice as sore, twice as stiff tomorrow. It really, really pays to take some time and stretch. So let's go through and hit everything. So we got that chest, so let's go ahead and do that chest. Just gonna do a nice slow stretch, using your rhomboids to pull those arms back, flexing those hands, trying to get those fingers back behind you as far as you can go. Nice, big, full, deep breath in. Just keep holding it. Let it relax for just a second. We're gonna do it one more time. And back. Squeeze it back, flex those hands back. This is what's called an active stretch because you're using your muscles to stretch other muscles as opposed to just leaning up against a wall to do it or using flexibility from a different range of motion. So you're actually using an antagonistic muscle, so an opposite muscle from the motion you're doing, to stretch it back. It actually burns calories while you're stretching. Let that relax. Whew. Arm up over top of your head. Reach that hand back to that same shoulder as hand you're using. Other hand comes up to that elbow, pulls across. Whew. Stretch it back. Kind of use your head to kind of push that arm back behind you a little bit as well. Should get a good stretch to the underside of that shoulder as well as a little bit through that deltoid on the side and back. Whew. Maybe get a little bit more into your chest again. Same thing on the other side. Reach that hand back to that same shoulder. Bring that elbow across. And let that relax. Go short, small little shoulder shrug. Let those shoulders relax a little bit. Leading your head off to side to side. Now reaching that hand down the opposite direction, you're stretching your head. I'm gonna do a short little rotation. So just rotate those shoulders back and forth. Nice slow motion. Keep those lungs open. Try to reintroduce as much oxygen as you can. Try to let your body continue to pump that blood around to get whatever glycogen Blood sugar you have left back into your muscles to try to recover some. Try to pump that lactic acid back out of your system. Let those cells metabolize it back. Get rid of that burn. All right, we're gonna do just a regular straight leg hang. So feet together, straight down towards those toes. Gonna walk those feet back and forth until you can lock them all the way out. And get a little bit different part of that leg by turning those toes in. Stretch it down again. Should feel this stretch in a slightly different part of your calf and hamstring. Same thing again with those feet out. This one, most people are usually the most flexible in with those toes pointed out, so you should. You might even notice a lot of extra range of motion on this one. Let that relax. Inside thigh, get those feet out really nice and wide. One leg stays straight, the other knee bends. Lean back towards that straight leg. Press that hip down on the side of that straight leg. Should get a nice stretch to the inside of that thigh.
Same thing on the other side. Stretch that other foot out, turn that other one. Oops, wrong direction until I'm tired. Lean down towards that straight leg. Stand back up, we have a quad stretch next. So bring one foot up, back behind you. Squeeze that heel into that butt, kick that knee back behind you. Try to use your balance to stay up straight. I know those calves and legs are just ridiculously tired and it makes it that much harder for balance. Try to hold it. If you need to, grab a hold of the back of a chair. We're laying up against the wall. Same thing on the other side. Heel the butt. Bring that knee back behind you. Chest straight up and down. Yeah, let that relax. All right, we're doing a torso stretch next. So straight forward, round that back, off to the side. Stretch it back, off the other side, down in front, pause, back the opposite direction. Just keep it going. Nice slow motion, alternating back and forth. Just try to get as much of range of motion out as you can, but at the same time focusing on relaxing those muscles and stretching them out. One more back around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sit down on the ground. Got just a couple more stretches to go. Start off with a hurdler stretch or modified hurdler stretch. One leg off to the side, and the leg is gonna be tucked in nice and close. Reach down towards that toe, other hand comes up over top. Those lungs open. And switch sides. Reach down towards that toe, other hand comes up over top. If you can't quite reach that toe, that's fine. Just reach out to that ankle as far as you can go. Main thing is keeping that leg straight to get that hamstring stretch. And let that relax. Next one is going to be a butterfly stretch. Bring those feet in really nice and close. Use those muscles to the outside of your thigh to stretch the inside. So another active stretch using those outside thighs to pull those knees down to the ground as far as you can go. You should feel that inside thigh stretching out as you pull. Keep those lungs open. We're going to roll over onto your stomach real quick. Hands down by the base of your ribcage. Arch up into that cobra pose. Head back up behind you. Push that chin up towards the ceiling. Keep those lungs open. Stretching out those abdominal muscles. Sit back in those heels. Stretch those hands out away from you. Let those shoulders relax, let those shoulders stretch out. Let that lower back release. Bring those hands in by those knees. This is our last one. Round that back, press those hands into the mat, round those shoulders. And let it relax. 
All right. I am completely drenched in sweat. I'm nice and shaky. I'm still a little bit lightheaded from working so hard, which means this was a brutal, a brutal workout. With that last stretch, it means this workout is complete. Good job, guys. See you next time.